A top five matchup that lived up to its billing. A first half goal by Dagny Brinia's daughter was the difference maker today as Florida State took down number two Virginia 1-0. It was important to get the goal early so we could like settle down a little bit but we were, yeah it worked out and we like we played a really good defense together as a team and yeah it worked out. A great battle between two top uh, teams and uh, you know I thought our fight our competitive spirit was uh, was excellent. Um, it certainly wasn't a work of art, but you know, sometimes in the game you have to adjust to opponents, you have to adjust to different conditions in the game, and you know, we obviously adjusted our game plan a little bit to, to take into consideration Virginia's quality, and I thought that uh, for the most part we defended quite well, and uh, you know, obviously Dagny uh, had a heck of a strike for a goal, and um, you know, it was, uh, it was a difference. Throughout the whole year we just haven't been that challenged yet, and we knew that we would come out here and get challenged today, so we just kind of stuck with our game plan, and. It worked and I mean we have a really strong defense and they just held it in front of me. Virginia is a really good team and we always know it's going to be a good battle when we play against them so we knew it was going to be a hard game and we knew it was going to be physical and we'd have to run a lot and we did that today and yeah we got the win. From the beginning like we're always going to be, I'm going to be a little bit um, nervous from the game but like being, having that front, that back four in front of me. Um, they keep my confidence up also, um, and then having like a victory like this, it definitely makes me feel good. <laughs> it's hard for us to play without all three of them, and now that they're back, we feel as though it's our time to really start to grow. And uh, we're going to be better as the season goes on. This isn't the highest level we're going to play at, and uh, um, we're going to get better and better and better. We haven't had that many trainings where we've had the whole group together. I mean, early on, we were missing the U20 kids, and then you know we lost uh, those three kids for two or three weeks. And uh, you know now we're all back together, and we're going to grow together. And uh, my hope is that our attacking will be as good as our defending, and that uh, we'll be a complete team. Florida State is now on the road. They'll head to Miami on Saturday. They'll be back at home October 9th for their Paint It Pink event. Stay right here at Seminoles.com. We'll have your complete Seminole coverage at the Soccer Complex. Jonathan Schlacey, Seminoles.com.